crack again there, YouTube. Your good friend Dasmerig. Hey, it's me. I'm back. And so soon. I'm going to try to keep up some kind of a schedule here. I don't want to don't want to leave the fans there. And again, thank you so much. Uh, got some new subscribers out there. Thanks again, guys. I really, really do appreciate that. Again, I, I'm just doing this out of my spare time and out of my love of gaming. And uh, just, uh, you know, want to share that fun time I'm having with you. So a little bit of Dirt reaction. If you check out my video list there, not that I'm pimping myself out or anything. <laughs> Anyways, man, uh, I, I threw up, uh, well, sorry, Dirt 3 on PC has got a little YouTube function in it, so you can take clips and it'll um, crunch them up and throw them up on their YouTube account for you. I was like, yeah, cool, let's check it out. And it's a real shame, because when you take a look at this game, and what, especially what it looks like uh, running on my monster beastie that I built, of a PC there um, versus the clips I threw up. It's like, ew, really? And I threw, uh, and you'll see there's two of them up there. And really, I was just sort of playing around. And uh, when I very first got this game, here's my cat and Hansel. Hey, it's so still hot right now. <laughs> so, wanted to have a little quick chat here. I'm going to keep this video much shorter, as in like half as long as my last one on the... And by the way, the last video is, uh, you know, another video on the NCAA uh, uh, building, uh, Dynasty Building Tips. Sorry, I'm just fumbling over myself. It's kind of late. I had a long day. Um, and I'm going to try to get another one of those videos out. Uh, it's had a, the first video had a, had a just, you know, unbelievable response for Weezing Me channel. And uh, the second one's doing fairly well, too. And I, I noticed when I was looking at it, it was a little repetitious expand your vocabulary again with your good friend Asper, a little repetitious there. So we're going to try to get a third one out with uh, some more advanced tips and strategies, but really wanted to talk about, uh, you know, something that's kind of been bugging me, irking at me, digging at me this year so far, and being a, you know, the one big passion I have is uh, sports games and sports gaming. That's, you know, going back, you know, we're talking back in the Commodore 64 days and Atari and the original Pong, I mean, that's... Just playing sports on, you know, some sort of console or computer or something like that. That's really what it was all about for me. And it's been about for, you know, show my age here a little bit, uh, in all honesty, uh, almost three decades. So, give you an idea there. And, you know, I, I just wanted to talk really quickly about what we've seen so far released in 2011. So, to give you an idea of what I personally have got... Am I personal? Like I, I actually own, and I'm still sitting here. Uh, you know, I'm. I guess I'm stupid. I should have traded some of these games in, but I don't know what it is. Eventually, I'm sure I'll trade them in. So I've got NCAA 12. I've got Madden 12. I've got FIFA 12. I've got NBA 2K 12. Yeah, NBA 2K 12. Um, I've got Dirt 3. I've got uh, the F1 uh, 2011. Uh, was it 2011 or 2012? The newest F1 game. I was waiting for it on, again on PC. Um, kid, because uh, Steam has always got crazy effing sales. There's a couple other download services there that uh, you know it's ridiculous. You know I recommend everybody if you're getting kind of bored with console gaming, go build yourself a PC. Even if you can only build yourself like a you know a thousand bucker. Uh, it's gonna be well worth it, man, because, I mean, I got Battle for Cybertron for like seven bucks, and what I got, uh, F1 was just on sale for this weekend, and it, it's like half price, it was like 20 bucks or something like that, and we're just like, yeah, I'll take that instead of paying 40-something dollars. I got Arkham City coming for free. That was part of building my game, but, you know, I'm not trying to wave my EP in here at you, you know, going, yeah, nerd, look at all the games I've got, yeah. No, I, I'm an avid sports gamer. Oh, I've got, uh, Major League Baseball. 2K12, I've got the show as well on uh, my poor dusty PlayStation that gets no love for me, or actually very little love, but uh, really what I found was pretty much 2011 so far has been a, a year to miss, man. Now, I, now th this this coming from a fan, you know, and I, I'm not trying to try to diss or be too much of a bitch, but you know, let's let's look at it from you know your good friend Das Murray's point of view here, and you know what, uh, from you know perusing out there, because I'm a fan of YouTube myself out there. I've got if you check uh, who I'm sub to, I'm sub to like a whole whole crap load of people. First, I think I'm still sub to more people than I'm actually. <laughs> I've got subscribers myself, but uh, here's the deal, here, man, is. Uh, Look at uh, Major League Baseball 2K12. Still had legacy issues in there, and to be honest with you, it's still looking like Major League Baseball 2K8. 
Uh, they've done what they can with the gameplay, but really kind of needs to go to the next level. Uh, the show had to have a major patch out after its release date. NCAA 12 has still got the same old game issues. While, you know, while I appreciate what the NCAA team has done, it seems to be the more advanced of the EA Sports, um, at least football, or sorry, the Tiburon EA, you know, slash EA t uh, development team seems to be more ahead. Again, four patches for that game, and it, I mean, it needed a patch that right of the bat, uh, like an advertised feature right on the box still don't work. Uh, Madden, uh, you know, what are we on, like patch number, major patch for number three for that game, NBA 2K. Uh, I don't know what... That, to me, NBA 2K12 is a prime example of what we call groupthink. And groupthink is like you get a group of people together and basically close them off and, you know, give them a little bit of feedback here and there. And everybody's like, wow, that's awesome. Ooh, that's awesome. Wow, that's awesome. And then you end up with NBA 2K12. And it's really not that awesome. It's like, you know, they didn't really, you know, they really got to test these games a lot better, in my opinion. Um, I played the NHL 2K12 or 2K12, the NHL 12 demo, I didn't see any difference from the, that demo versus the NHL 11, so I didn't grab it. FIFA 12 still got the same fucking issue that drives me absolutely bonkers, because it could be a great game where your defenders do not play the ball, or your, like your computer control guys, I know, you know like, I get it. Soccer's a game, of, a position game, you know, I'm from Canada, you grow up religiously following hockey here. So I, you know, I get the whole position game versus, you know, like a, a basketball or football style game where the action all revolves, you know, not only around position, but also around, the, you know, position of the, you know, the ball and play. But, you know, still, this is like a, an issue that's gone on for like six or seven years now. And if I was to show you gameplay from, you know, and I've got FIFAs from God knows when sitting around here. You know, I've probably got FIFA 2K5 or something like that. You know, FIFA, FIFA, you know, 2005 sitting around here somewhere, either on PC or on console. You know, other than the graphics going up a little bit, Madden, Madden's, you know, don't get me started on Madden. It, it, it's a crying, it's literally a crying shame what's happened to Madden because that was like the, you know. I, I, know, I know there's a big following for the NBA, or sorry, the NBA, for the 2K crowd out there that followed uh, that football game. Myself and my group, we followed Madden just because it had the franchise mode in it. But, uh, you know, that game basically, as soon as they bought, you know, sunk that billion dollars into the exclusive license, you can tell. You can see the game, just the game's quality just went... <laughs> so... You know, are, you know, my question is, are we seeing the death of sports gaming on a console? Are we just seeing the death of sports gaming, period? I, my, my friend B.A. always jokes with me uh, almost on a weekly basis that Michael Jackson's dance experience is outselling Madden. I mean, is that what we've come to? Anyways, I, you know, I don't really don't want to see it. it. It just seems to me most of the innovations have been sucked out of these sports franchises in favor of paying these big, giant, exclusive licensing deals or massive licensing deals. And to me, that's gonna that's gonna end because you know what? They're gonna lose a big customer and a big sucker. You know, suckers like me who buy all these effing games and play them all and. A lot of times don't end, even end up trading them in. So anyways, a bit of a rant, bit of a bitch video. I didn't want to be the right first one back. Showing off also a little bit cool gameplay. Don't know what I'm going to hit you with next. I've got just a slew of games sitting around right now. And I've got so many games I can't really play them all. Plus, uh, Modern Warfare 3, well, you know, it's one of those love-hate things. I absolutely fucking... Uh, it's a fun game to play in some ways, but I feel absolutely dirty and hate myself for playing it later. <laughs> anyways, your good friend Dasberg. We'll check you later, YouTube.